weapon into dust beneath the heel of liberty.
Let's move out and find the rest. <laughs>
atacar. Couldn't have done it without you, Yoon. Time to contact Vic. Vic, come in. The seals are disabled. Rendezvous at the core access door ASAP. Over. That ugly bug got you through after all, huh? Heading for the door. Vic out. Ready to finish this, or should I pop out for a drink? Too bad the imps didn't put a bar on this thing. Could use a break. 
Sergeant Yoon, you're dismissed. Rendezvous with Sergeant Jorgen, and stay alert. That's the spot. One down, Captain. Let's hit the rest so we can get back to Coruscant and the many thankful citizens of the Republic. Keep your mind on the job, Vic. Oh, yes, sir.
That's the last of them. We'll be good to go in just a few seconds. Captain, sir. Sergeant Dawn. A situation has developed on the bridge. All data has been retrieved, but Imperial reinforcements are overwhelming our position. We can't hold them. Are your explosives in place? Are we clear to return to the ship? Jorgen, take Yun and give Dorn and Forex some cover while they pull out. Then rendezvous back at the ship. Already on our way, sir. Just hang in there, people. We'll try to reach the ship by the time you get there, Captain. Dawn out. Captain, it is a great relief to see you well, in spite of the extensive fighting. I am afraid that Dorn was injured terribly while we were fighting our way back to the ship. I attempted to absorb as much incoming fire as possible, but she refused to hide. She insisted on ensuring that I returned as well. I should have known Dorn wouldn't fall back without some regulation imp stomping. It's been a long time since medical basics, but Yoon and I managed to patch her up. If Forex hadn't gotten her back so fast, we would have lost her. It was very brave of you to get Dorn out of there. The Republic does not leave its heroes behind. I did only what duty required. Could we talk about this later? I need to set those charges off, and we shouldn't be sitting in the hangar bay when I do. Let's get moving. Double time it. <laughs> Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Group, this is Havoc. Objective complete. All ships evacuate to minimum safe distance. We copy, Havoc. All ships are clear. Proceed with the detonation. has been destroyed. All ships disengage and proceed to rendezvous 47 for refueling. Havoc returned to General Garza on Coruscant for debrief. 
I'll proceed to Coruscant immediately, Admiral. The Empire's greatest weapon has been destroyed. Congratulations, Havoc. You've been out. Captain, fantastic work. The Imperial Ministry of War is a firestorm over the Gauntlet's destruction. The SIS says that heads will roll over this, quite literally. If the Imperials are busy fighting over blame, this is the perfect time for more strikes. A good thought, actually. I'll have the SIS work up a priority listing of targets of opportunity right away. Your leadership and skill in conducting this ongoing operation have been exemplary. I'm promoting you to the rank of Major, effective immediately. Commensurate promotions will be issued to your squad members as well. Congratulations, Major. I'm honored to accept this promotion, General. You've earned it. When presented with extraordinary circumstances, you have delivered extraordinary results.
I'm also recommending you for the Silver Crescent, in honor of the extraordinary valor you demonstrated in the attack on the Gauntlet Superweapon. In recognition of the injuries she suffered in action against the enemy, I've recommended Ilara Dorn for the Mark of Dedication. That is, if you approve. I can't think of anyone more deserving. Excellent. I'll submit the necessary forms right away. Now, I'm afraid that not all of our news is positive. We received the following holotransmission not long after the gauntlet was destroyed. Republic Command. I am General Racton of the Imperial Ministry of War. You have made a grave error. By destroying the gauntlet, you have destroyed a weapon of peace and the final hope your people had. Give me everything we've got on this man, General. I'll have a dossier sent immediately. In short, Racton is the Empire's top commander, the mastermind behind their military campaigns. I had hoped a device that removed the possibility of resistance would allow the Empire to achieve its great works without further bloodshed. But your actions have destroyed any hope for peace. I am forced to launch a campaign unlike any the galaxy has seen. Your soldiers will be slaughtered. Your planets will burn, and your people will embrace the light of the Emperor's will at last. If the Empire is about to begin a full-scale campaign against us, our forces need to be ready. We're putting all outposts and units on alert immediately. For years, General Racton has outmaneuvered and outwitted every Republic force that has stood in his way including mine. The SIS is watching for any sign of Racton's new campaign. Until we have solid data, Havoc Squad is relieved. Rest, recuperate, and be ready for my call. Dismissed, Major. Heading out. And loaded. Understood. I have excellent news, sir. Given the rigorous nature of Havoc Squad's missions, my power core has seen extensive use, and its capabilities have increased as a result. 
I now have access to far greater energy reserves, significantly improving the quality of my service to the Republic. You must be very proud, Forex. I am, sir. Please, sir, if I may make a request, let's engage in combat as soon as possible. I'm eager to put my new capabilities to the test. Sir, if I may ask, I was wondering about your opinion on Imperial superweapons. Devices that can devastate entire fleets or worlds in a single strike. I find them intriguing. No one should have weapons that powerful. That is a popular viewpoint, but I cannot understand it. Surely such devices could see worthwhile use in the defense of freedom. Given these weapons' capabilities, I've been researching Imperial weapon designers to find a worthy target for Havoc Squad. One name stands out above all others, Colonel Rebus, the head of one of the Empire's top weapons research programs. What have you learned about him, Forex? I have located no personal information on Colonel Rebus, not even a physical description. Over the past two weeks, however, mentions of his name on Imperial comm channels have increased in frequency by 15.2%. This suggests a project nearing completion. No time to lose, then. Where is he? The location of Colonel Rebus's research lab is one of the most closely guarded secrets in the Empire. No information is available as yet. As soon as I learn more, I'll inform you right away. I ever tell you about the time we were ordered to take out Moff Dallum? Dangerous, Mark. Wily is that- Hang on. Incoming transmission. Care to guess who it is? Major, Senior Agent Zane here. Apparently, I didn't make myself clear earlier. Or perhaps you thought an unauthorized rescue mission wouldn't constitute as interfering? We knew exactly what we were doing. Thought so. I understand your concern for your comrades, but you morons are only complicating things. You're addressing the commander of Havoc Squad, Zane. You will show her the proper respect. Apologies, but this is a delicate operation and your continued involvement will only jeopardize its completion. We could have worked together if you'd kept us in the loop. I would have if this had been any of your business. Your operation's falling apart, Zane. Now either rescue the Deadeyes yourself, or get out of the way. I don't take orders from grunts. This mission is over when I say it is. I've had it with this guy. Permission to cut him off, sir. Permission granted. Good riddance. I can't tell if he really dropped the ball on this one or if he's still just lying to us. Either way, the SIS had their chance. Time for Havoc Squad to get the job done right. I've been looking over the customer files from Magaran's office. The guy really didn't know how to run an outfit. When you're selling guns, you always get the money up front. You only take installments from customers you can grab when they don't pay. Magaran had installment customers all over the galaxy. And, big surprise, a lot of them never paid off their bills. Amateur. I'm surprised Magaran would hire people to go after you, but not as debtors. He only wanted me dead. And hired killers come cheap these days. Good debt collectors are expensive. You actually have to trust them. There are credits to be made. People owed Magarin. I took him down. Which means his stuff is my stuff now. Well, sorry, our stuff. Everyone who owed him owes me now. I'll look through the lists, find the big debts, and collect. And give you a reasonable cut. How's that sound? Make it happen, Vic. You got it, boss.
Major, this is General Garza. I need you to report to my office on Coruscant immediately. General Rakton made his move. The Imperials have invaded dozens of Republic planets. Havoc Squad is needed, immediately. Is there a plan for dealing with this invasion, General? I'll brief you on the details when you arrive. Move quickly. Garza out. Major, stand at ease. Let's get straight to the situation at hand. After we destroy the gauntlet, General Rakton called a diplomatic summit with the heads of state of several Republic allied planets along our borders. The summit was held aboard a neutral space station, where Rakton's troops seized the heads of state by force. They are now hostages of the Empire. You want Havoc to get the heads of state out of there alive? Correct. It's the only way to stop Rakton's plans. With their leaders held hostage, our allies are allowing Imperial troops to pass through their systems and strike us where we're vulnerable. Our forces are at their limit. The Imperials will overwhelm us unless we rescue these heads of state and block Rakton's invasion routes. What's our intel on the hostages' location? The station where the heads of state are being held is called Outpost 256. Imperial security is tight, but we've developed an entry plan. Helic, a diplomat for one of these worlds, is flying there to surrender his government's security codes. He's volunteered to sneak your team aboard. How can we minimize the risk to the hostages when we storm the station? Lieutenant Ewan will be responsible for that portion of the plan. Your ship will ride alongside Helix, detaching at the last second and landing in an unused maintenance hangar aboard the station. Lieutenant Ewan will slice into the station's security and stop any alarms from sounding while you storm the crew area and secure the hostages. Understood? I'm ready to begin immediately, General. Helic will rendezvous with you at these coordinates. The Imperials are expecting him to deliver his security codes very soon, so move quickly. Remember, the safety of the Republic depends entirely on the safety of these men. Good luck.